Now that you have created a new project and added schematic and PCB files to it, next thing you would want to do is to draw the logic circuit or schematic for the project. But before that, you need to understand and learn a couple of things to do it right. These are the four most important things to understand before you start entering your schematic in Altium Designer. First thing is Fundamentals of Object Placement in Altium Designer. These are the steps and tools that are used for placing any kind of objects on the schematic sheet. Here we will discuss about measurement units, grids and how to place any object in the schematic editor. Next, we will learn about placing electrical objects and wire them to construct our logic circuit. We will also learn about the junctions and how they are used. That was about placing and wiring the objects. We also need to learn how to edit all kinds of objects after placement to make things tidy and as per our liking. We will learn about editing different objects, moving them on schematic sheet from one place to another, copy and paste them and use annotation tool for managing designators. Last, we will look at how to edit the properties of different objects using SCH inspector panel and SCH list panel. Let us first discuss the measurement units in PCB design. Both imperial and metric units are used and it is important to understand how they are related to be on the same page with the PCB manufacturers as they mostly use imperial units. Mill and Tau are most widely used imperial units in PCB design. One mil is equal to one tau and which is equal to one thousandth of an inch. And one inch is 25.4 millimeters, which implies that one mil or tau is equal to 0.0254 millimeters. There is another unit used in Altium Designer which is known as DXP default. One DXP default unit is equal to 10 mils. 